Hello friends, thanks for tuning in. We're coming at you today from Monterrey, Mexico. One of my favorite cities, actually, I love it here. Um, so today, I am with a special guest. His name is Dr. Jose Gonzalez. Thank and you. I appreciate you taking this time. No, no, thank you very much for this interview. Oh, no problem. No problem. So you have a sports and rehabilitation clinic here. Yes. Which we're at right now today. And um, we were talking earlier today, you, you see a lot of knee pain. You see a lot of low back pain. Yes. And you know, I have never spoken with anybody about this, uh, on camera anyways, and I think there's a lot of interest in this subject. Yes. So I would love to ask you, uh, let's start with knee pain. You, you see a lot of it. Um, how do you deal with it? How do you, what are the causes of knee pain and how do you um, help people to alleviate the pain? Yes, well first of all we have to know that the knee pain uh, with osteoarthritis is the first cause or the most common cause of uh, knee pain in the world, okay? Osteoarthritis. The osteoarthritis, okay? Osteoarthritis. Okay. So when uh, we have a patient, we have to evaluate the patient mm -hmm. and we have to see different things, okay? We have to see the, the movement, if, if they have the range of movement complete, the pain, the swelling of, their, the, of the knee and how much pain they have and where is the pain, okay? Why this? You you can you can you can tell. Obviously, the pain is in the knee. Yes, in the knee, but we have to to recognize which is the source of the pain. Okay, mm -hmm. if the pain is from the the knee per se, the knee like the cartilage, okay, yes. or from the soft tissue. Okay, so we have two types of pain from the soft tissue. That is the tendons, muscles, um, ligaments. And all the soft tissue that surrounds the knee, or the knee, the, the knee pain of the cartilage. Okay, so when we have a patient with osteoarthritis, we have to evaluate which grade of osteoarthritis he has. Okay, yeah. we have four grades, from one to four. Okay, yeah. grade one, two, and three, we can, we can give a non-surgical treatment. Okay, yeah. with grade four, is that they need surgery, they need okay. a prosthesis. Okay, yeah. so. We, we do two things, okay? We have to know that in the knee we have a fluid liquid, okay? A liquid, right. a synovial fluid. Synovial fluid. Le yep. Synovial fluid that it's the, the work, the job of this fluid is to absorb impact and to give movement to the knee, okay? But right. in an osteoarthritis knee, this fluid doesn't work as well. So we have to give to the knee uh, again, the movement with yeah. an, uh, with a new liquid or with a new fluid. So we use a liquid called hyaluronic acid. Okay. Okay. We have in the knee hyaluronic hyaluronic acid, and obviously when we have more than thirty years, the hyaluronic acid it still doesn't work like we were like if we were younger. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't work uh, like before. So we have to inject to the to the knee. Three doses or one doses, it, it depends, of hyaluronic acid, okay? Right. So it relieves the pain, improves the movement, and protects the cartilage to the future, okay? Oh, so and protection. It, yes. And, and it kind of acts like the synovial fluid, right? It does the same job? Yes, yeah. it, it does the same job of the, the, of the synovial fluid, and it has a function of one year in the knee, okay? So this is like a maintenance of the knee, okay? Mm, yeah. So, and to the soft tissue, we use the high intensity laser treatment. Yeah. Okay, that therapy is a new therapy. It has a a, 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 a very almost a effect, very high effect. And since the first session of high intensity laser, the patient has a relief of the pain. Yeah, yeah. And we have and we need to do the rehabilitation. We have to improve the movements, uh, proprioception. Yeah. Okay, and to learn to walk. Uh, to to strengthen the quadriceps, okay, yeah. and the patient feels better, and we prepare the knee to the to the day eating, to the activities of the of the day. Okay, good, good. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, I had laser treatment done on my hip last year. Yes. Immediately felt better. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That, that 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 is how we treat the yeah. the knee osteoarthritis. Yeah, that's really that's great. Great, so let's move into low back pain. Because okay. I know you see a lot of people with low back pain too. Yes. What's your approach on low back? Okay, look, and 
the, uh, first we have to know the, the low back pain, the causes, uh, there, are, there is a lot of causes of low back pain, okay? It can be the muscle, uh, herniated disc, uh, sciatica, mm, a tumor, mm. fractures of the, oh, yeah. oh, right. fractures, uh, a kidney disease, oh. or rheumatology disease. So when, I, when a patient comes with us that says that he has low back pain, we have to evaluate, okay? So we have to use x-ray, um, the radiography, okay? Right. Sometimes uh, MRI, in, in, in sometimes, and we have to do the physical examination, okay? okay? And if we conclude that the problem is muscle, herniated disc, or something muscular, or from the musculoskeletal, musculoskeletal disorder, okay, we can treat them, okay? But if, if they have, if we suspect rheumatology disease, kidney disease, or tumor, or something, we have to analyze, or to have, we have to send the patient to the specialist that he needs, we have to specialist. refer, okay? Yeah. So, if, su suppose that we have, that the patient has a musculoskeletal disorder in the low back pain, we, we can use the high intensity laser tool yeah. because it works really fast, but we need to give to the patient um, an, an analgesics, okay? Yeah. And muscle relaxants, relaxants, okay? To relieve the pain, to improve the, to, to, to improve the movements of the of the low back pain, okay? So let me ask you, so I imagine there might be some inflammation associated with this, right? Mm -hmm. And the low back pain? Yes. Yeah, so you want to reduce inflammation? Yeah, we have to I mean, reduce... That's part of what you want to do, right? Yes, we have to reduce inflammation and we have to strengthen the core, okay? Yeah. That is the, 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 the treatment at the end, okay? Yeah. When we relieve the pain, the final treatment is to uh, strength the core because if we have the core very strength with a lot of uh, force in the, in the core we prevent in the future another uh, low back pain in the future. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, um, when we were talking earlier today at the restaurant I was thinking I never would have associated a tumor or kidney disease with low back pain but it totally makes sense, right? So it could be something other than muscles or the spine or whatever. Yes. Yeah, that's good to know. Actually, okay. it's really good to know. Yes, and, and we and we suspect another things with the questions we, we do to the patient. Okay. If, for example, if the patient has a lot of pain that with analgesic it doesn't relieve, or uh, he has a, a trauma, we can suspect a fracture, for example. Right. Or his, if he has fever, we can suspect uh, an infection or a kidney disease, for uh, example, yeah. or it, we have to ask the type of pain, okay? Because if the, the pain uh, gives us the, the tip to know which is the source of the pain. Yeah, okay? that's great. That's, that's a nice approach. Yes, the, the approach... You have to, really, you have to do that, though. Yeah, the approach of the low back pain is very big, so we sometimes we have to do MRIs, uh, yeah. radiographies to... to to give the approach, okay? Awesome. But the most common cause of low back pain is musculoskeletal, musculoskeletal disorders, okay, of the spine. That's right. the, the most common cause of low back pain. Right. And we have to know that after the 40 years, it's very common to have low back pain. All right, yeah, okay. sure. Well, this has been really good. I appreciate you sharing this with us, because that, that's a lot of information in a short amount of time. But yes. Yeah, also, uh, he has a great um, rehabilitation clinic here. I love all the stuff you have. Oh, thank you very much. This is your home. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. This is your home. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, Doctor Doctor Gonzalez, thank you, and thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. I know I learned a lot just now. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you again, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. And welcome for this is your home. Uh, thank you so much. All right, folks. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Okay. Cool. Thanks, man. Yes. Sir. All right. All right.